Hey guys, it's Silly Shave Forever, and this week I'm going to show you my duct tape creations, and if we have time, I will show you how to make one. It's a bracelet, real simple. I might not show you the advanced one until next week, because I just don't have the time. Um, so... Before we get started with that, the word of this week is anana, which is French for pineapple, and I got that from watching Tele Francais in French class. Um, you can hear more about Tele Francais in SAC Network's very first uploaded video from this laptop. Um, you can watch it at the SAC Network's channel. Uh, just click on the link and it'll take you right to the video. It's really funny, so check it out. Alright, so let's get started. I have four I have four duct tape creations to show you today. And the first one is a pen that I have made myself. First I wrapped it in pink duct tape and then I did the outer around this with black duct tape and I did a flower with purple. Um, pretty much all you need is a pen and duct tape. Um, it's pretty easy. I mean, you don't have to go all fancy fancy with the flower. I mean, you don't even have to go all fancy fancy with the stripes either. Because, um, I mean, if you even if you only have one roll of duct tape, knock yourself out and make a cool pen like this. Because they're really cool. I love them. All of a sudden, they've gotten really popular in my school. I don't know why. Or how. Someone just came to school with one, and the next day, five more people had them. So, yeah, I made my own, so I'm going to bring it in. Um, <clears throat> for the pen, you just need a regular pen. This, uh, yeah, this is a pen. Um, <clears throat> it's used, it should be a pen that has a tap um... don't use a clicky pen it doesn't have to be this exact pen it just has to be a pen that has a cap but this doesn't have a cap but you can just like take the cap off and stuff so, um... just like a plain pen plain office pen this is like a Bic this is a Bic pen yes it is alright that was the first one okay the second one is <coughs> a wallet there's a design on the front. It says JB. I know it's backwards. It says JB. Um, this is probably the most common duct tape creation I've ever seen. Uh, lots of people had it at one time. I used three rolls of duct tape. I used pink, silver, and black, and purple. Sorry, I used four. Um, yeah. Um, little loopy today. <coughs> um, just a basic wallet, pretty easy, same layout of a wallet, same thing inside, I did put a stripe on the inside though, and I have a little pocket for cards, and the billfold, pretty basic, this is mostly like beginner stuff, I mean I do know a lot of advanced stuff, the next one I'm going to show you is pretty advanced, um, <clears throat> this one, it is a braided duct tape bracelet. I did have one of these in um, the SAC Network video. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty much just duct tape that I braided into a bracelet and bound together with another piece of duct tape. I have a purple and black one, mostly purple with a little black. Then I have a pink and black one, mostly black, a little bit of pink. Then I have mostly black, a little bit of purple. 
and that's it's pretty easy. Um, but you have to know how to work the duct tape and know how big to make it. Um, go online for that, pretty much. Just anywhere. And just like go on like WikiHow or eHow or something, and that's pretty much how I got it. The idea. Um, and it's really cool. Um, these two you can take off, which I'll take off this one. This one I take, I can take off. Uh, it's actually pretty thin, if you can see that. It's just, it's braided all the way, and it has the pink. And it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. And this is the one I'm going to show you how to make. Very, very bra basic one inch bracelet. Very basic. Um, it's really cool though. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make it very quick using pink duct tape. So what you're going to do is going to take a strip of duct tape that is the size of your wrist. Make sure to measure, measure your wrist. Make sure to measure your wrist around and to like cut it or rip it so it's the size of your wrist okay so I have my piece of duct tape this is probably going to be too small but I'm doing it on the fly so I usually take quick like, five minutes but okay so then what you're going to do is you're going to either rip it or use scissors and rip it down the middle a little bit it's a little hard to start off but then it'll go mm. See, like this. Don't rip it all the way because that will totally ruin the bracelet. Alright, next. What you are going to do, you are going to fold it. Like this. You fold it over. So, say if this was the whole piece, right here, you'd fold it over like that. With, and don't connect these flaps right here, because that's what's going to connect it around the other side. And pretty much, I mean, this is actually a pretty good backpack charm. Actually, I have a few on my backpack. Um, and then, what you do, put on your wrist. And if you want to, take this, and if it doesn't hurt a whole lot, tape it to your wrist. It's pretty hard, because I can't really see. I'm sorry. Alright. So, I'm not even going to put it around my wrist, because I'm going to end up taking it off anyway. So, what you're going to do, I'm going to go like this, around your wrist. Attach it. Like this. So it looks like this right now. And then you're going to take this piece, this last piece right here, fold it over. So it looks like this. Okay? There's your duct tape bracelet. It's pretty basic. Uh, if you liked that, uh, comment on it. Send a video response. I want to see how you uh, created. I want to see them. And if you uh, wanted to make one of these, you can check next week. I'll show you how to make it next week. And you can um, look it up online if you made it on if you made it from like eHow or WikiHow. Uh, in the next video, uh, show me. Sorry, not in the next video. I'm so sorry. Um, send me a video response. All right. Thanks. I want to see what you guys made. Peace out from Silly Shay Forever.